welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad in today's video we're back playing inscription this time we're trying to go after po3 and see if we can get better stuff for our deck so we can go back and fight gamora and the painting dude see if we can beat those two later on but right now we're focused on po3 and this is a lot simpler than i expected already challenge me let's see your deck yeah of course weak cards total lack of synergy this pile really doesn't stand a chance against me look i'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here but the bots there they're sending down the line are trash get those workers to send me some something good tell them to throw themselves on the line if they ne if necessary and please have a decent deck by the time you're done all right cool I'm actually glad he said that. I need, I wanted a better deck before I tried to fight anybody else. Let's see what the fuck you got. I can buy two of these decks. I don't see a reason to have like a meat bot. Curve Hopper. Anyways, let's get, let's get a few random cards to fill out the deck right now. Okay, while Mox module is on the board, it provides a green, orange, and blue gem to, the, to its owner. Got Bolt Dog, Broken Odule. I'm gonna buy another one just cause. Okay, Double Gunner. I think we got this card already, actually. Let me see what I can add to my hand now. And let's see if it actually lets me play with this hand. Cause I'm not sure if there's a limit of 20 exactly that you can't go over or if it was saying that you have to have at least 20. Uh, you rummage through the junk cards and find a card pack. Okay. Ooh. If energy conduit is part of a completed circuit, your energy never depletes. So I need to figure out how to make a circuit out of my cards then, or with my cards. Okay, a locked on class and drawers burst forth. It contains two card packs, all right. Uh, no conduit, no conduits may be completed. Completed, may complete a circuit, but provide no effects. I wish there was someone to like test these hands out. That's the only thing. Sentry bot. When a creature moves into spaces opposing sentry drones, they are dealt they they are dealt one damage. So this is good against cards that move around then. Oops. Okay, there we go. Shit, that took forever. Alright. Uh da -da, another two card packs. I'm gonna have it randomly make or like pull cards in in a second again. Because we are getting a lot of cards that should actually fit better with the energy deck now. No conduits may be completed. So we're not doing anything with the conduits. I kind of want to take them just to see if I can figure something out with them. And it keeps grabbing Mantis got in a few other cards in here too. So I don't know really how they're going to go down. I don't know if you contribute any card is the only thing because before it had to be a sp specifically a living card. That was, uh, that was pretty straightforward. Although it does feel like we're improving the, uh, cards that the enemy is finna get. At least a little bit. Okay. We're getting a lot of tech cards though. So definitely the place to come to, especially if I want to start experimenting more with uh, the deck too. What is this dude? I assume a fight. What is this? What do you want? 
Can't you see that I'm very... Oh, he's talking fast. Very busy. PO3 isn't happy with my output. But I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to... Just who, who are you? To be carrying orders from PO3. PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skills. I'm very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. Oh, he has the magpie sigil. Okay, so this goes how I think it should. All right, cool. So I can do that then. And I'm going to start doing that some more. Maybe I can see what these conduit cards do more so. It offers no effect. Other creatures within a conduit completed by buff conduit contain one power. Or gain one powder. Power, okay. So I should be less afraid to use beast cards, or at least less concerned with it. And the conduit is going to be between plus and minus, so that's not bad. So I have two energy. But I can't do anything with it right now. I can't break that conduit, though. I'm gonna get another one going, though. <gasps> that might have been a bad play, to be honest. And honestly, I think it was. So I'm gonna just go ahead and correct it now. Okay. So these mantises are definitely open out now. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am merely an inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send a new bot down the line, but I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. Crazy. Crazy. He didn't even put his body up there. He just popped his head off. I guess that is the shit with robots, though. They just kind of take themselves apart. I'm not really sure what the pattern is for these. I kind of just... Well, at least on the first one, I definitely guessed. Second one was kind of easy. That one, I just kind of, again, guessed and looked at it. Uh, two, I guess it has to add to five. One, two, four, five. All right. Uh, in the middle, like the last time I was doing this, I just got tired of playing. So I got up and walked away basically. So I managed to figure out how to actually do this also. It was only completely wrong because I wasn't using this piece at all. I don't know what I thought it was supposed to be for, but it kind of makes sense why this light never lit up. But I was pretty close before. I just had to figure out how, a way to isolate the minus one. Looks like this thing's gonna be the next one we have to, uh, what you call it? But he's probably gonna complain about the quality of the ore coming out. Okay, dude went straight into the fight. Didn't even wait on it. But let's see. I can give him... I think this combo might be a little better than what I thought it was. Because even if I don't want to set up this circuit, right? I can just use it to get Mantis got out immediately. So fighting the, the witch lady is probably going to be a little easier than I thought it was at first. Uh... Factory conduit construct, L, blah, 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 in the charge space. Oh. Okay. So we can summon stuff. And then this one over here has the plus one. So this is the one we want to use when we're having circuits in place. Uh, shit. That's kind of shitty. Because <laughs> it's going to kill me now. Um, It's not going to deal too much damage. We will almost break it immediately.
I think this is how this works. Cause right, this cost the gem to put down and this on the board, it provides a green gem, green, orange, and whatever gem. I don't know what this, uh, that's the part of the card. So I guess, yeah, you just need a green gem to put these down. And I'm going to assume that you just have to have that gem in order to put the card down. Uh, but Mantis guy would actually be better because it's going to take out all three of those cards at once. The other one's just going to take out the one. So I'd still have to deal with those two separately. Although this does let in this new circuit, uh, that's going to be fine because Mantis got to be protected from its damage. Uh, if a creature would attack force mage, it force mage, it wait, if a creature, uh, oh, never mind. I was going to come in the wrong spot. Anyways, so we should be able to just summon this, right? I'm not seeing any changes up here, which is what the confusing part is, but this nullifies their attack. And we're just going to deal damage now. Oops, not that. I wonder what happens if another certain well, is it, it's probably going to add plus one through the whole system because that's what it was doing when we did the side questy type thing. Uh, we have nothing to put down for real. This thing, this card right here is kind of useless. I should remove it from the deck, but it's also still good for flying cards. But I got to see if I'm actually going to face those in this. Otherwise, I'm going to take it out and add something else in. Oh, okay. I think we should win with this hit. Yeah, okay. I think this dude's a little nicer now. Excellent battle. Now with that aside, what did you have to tell me? You don't feel wishes for better bots for a skin? That is difficult, you see. I love metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one thing about down the line. Uh, yes, for pain of three. These robots are being tortured here. All the red words were saying like no, help, like stop this basically, like stuff he doesn't want to do. Did he just get He just got mashed into a normal part though? Like he's just the same as the rest of them. I don't think that one's him. Yeah, all these are a little bit different. Oh no no, these are his parts, isn't it? Whatever. Anyways, dude's still just as basic as the rest of them. Okay, that one was actually much easier than the last one, but I still kind of try to get a. I'm not really sure how this shit works still. I just know that all of them got to go down before I can do anything else. So, okay, I was going to say, am I going to fall into something? Where's the robot that? I think it's this thing right here. Wait, mate. Uh, I know what you're here for. Let me ask you this. Say goodbye. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders. And they look at the dress so, so special. You can't do it, alright? Maybe you can give you some you win. If you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. Okay, so he has a more of like a fisherman's pirate accent type thing going on here. So I shouldn't be able to, you do not have the blue gem to play that gains gem, game gems by playing mox cards. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, great, thanks. Appreciate that. Ooh, sentry guns. Okay. I kind of like this sentry, but I don't know if it, this sentry is going to be good, actually. So I'm going to take it. Ooh, what do you get? Hey, uh, can I grab that? Doesn't look like I can. I'm gonna rework my card. I need to. Can I grab this? This shit's gonna be a bitch. It's gonna change into like. Because it's flashing all the old bosses. Or at least all the pictures and stuff, too. I feel like that's intentional, not a glitch for sure, though. 
Uh, activate pay one energy to deal one damage to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. Uh, off with you. Okay, so he's not gonna entertain me anymore. Oops, alright. I kind of want to see what this thing turns into because it looks like I'm headed back to PO3 now since I've already headed. Well, I mean, did I head through everything? It doesn't look like there's anything else. I don't know what that thing is, but there's more around, so it's probably fine. I don't know. I lost where that thing was, too, so. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I was hoping if I stood here long enough, it would come through. I kind of want to watch and see what happens, but it'll probably be faster for y'all. There's a black figure in there that I'm not sure, so sure about. Like, there's actually a lot of figures in here I haven't seen yet. Which, again, is making me question how long this game actually is. Because there's some animation styles that I haven't seen in the game yet. If, you, if that makes sense, I don't know. There's a lot going on with this thing, though. I want to see what uh what it comes out to be. I've, I know it's going to be a bitch of a card, though. I feel like it's going to tra transform a bunch or something like that. I like how it feels like there's more space between where we come from and where this is going through. Like, it feels like it's going through a wall and, like, getting routed a different way than just the straight hallway. And that's how we got here faster. Right now, though, I feel like we should win automatically once we beat uh, PO3, technically, right? Oh, yeah, because he just needs to make the robot. Theoretically, though, he could be scrapping these or putting these together to make stronger robots and then running them back through the sequencer. Okay, so he's saying they haven't gotten much better. Wow, you beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know if he got that new card because I started doing this before that. Okay. Okay, so stuff is going to keep moving all over the place, clearly. I guess that's where the sentry card is going to be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and get that down now. Ugh, excuse me. Now it's going to shoot, right? Sentry drone takes a free shot. Absolutely. Okay. Something's going to attack and then move now, right? Well, once the drone's going to... Yeah, that sentry gun was a pretty good ad, and it was pretty cool. I got it first. Uh, something that's going to move with this might work out, too. That's not helpful. But that's going to be an insta-kill. Yeah, this drone moving in circles is going to be pretty good. It's probably going to die to this thing. Oh, that's... Why'd I, why'd I lose the card? Ah, I should have read that sigil. Anyways, that's not our meat bot, is it? Let me see. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. I have to be careful of that then. I don't want to put this meat bot down on their side then. And I'll hold on to my... Uh, what you call it for now? To make sure I can actually summon or whatever I need to do with it. Oh, shit. The thing's frozen, but it still deals damage. And that's not going to kill it either. Okay, well, this will kill that. And that's all I got for now. This should be cool. This will cancel that attack and we'll deal three damage right back. So that's a win? No? Okay. We should be able to get this next hit should win though. I don't know what the, oh no, I had to hit for two. Hmm. Well shit. I put that in front of something that was gonna kill it too, huh? Okay, well, the fact that this is cycling around is actually helping us out, so. Cool. So far, this has been easier than when we first started out in the original mode. 
Oh, scanner's online. Which card to scan? Ooh, second mode. Okay. Just kidding. Obviously, the one with the best stats, which would be what? That's the stat line could be better. Ooh, he took all of them. Okay, your move. I'm going to cycle in one, right? That's going to negate. Ooh, did I lose control with that? That's weird. Everything he has is going to die, so it's actually not an issue. Yeah, let's go for it. I was going to break this thing, though, but I should just turn it into something that's outside of the ice, right? Cool. So. Yeah, we're still doing fine. Honestly, that wasn't the worst to happen for a second phase. Ooh, I got that back. OK, well, that's all I have. Okay, I don't know what he he means by that, but I guess he's trying to say I have plot armor, basically. It's kind of bullshit, even though I'm I'm I mean I'm here to kill him. He's the dude I'm replacing, so fuck you. I don't care about the plot armor. I'm here to take you out. I'm just better. This is why you're the one who I chose to get rid of, because you're obviously garbage. Exactly. What do you mean if I had a choice? Interesting. I feel like they would have said some shit like that anyways. This dude seems kind of like the spiteful type to fuck with you when you win. So like, <laughs> I'm a psychoanalyzing a game. So like, even though he lost, he's not actually, it's not like he's actually talking shit. He's just trying to fuck with us anyways. The same way he was when he was the stout card. Just kind of a shit, like just a piece of shit. I keep saying battery, ooh. In's video. Okay, so now we have more videos. Let's look into this. I don't remember what the last ones were dated. I think there were seven something though, but let's see. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. Hello there. Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? He was doing research back into the game and going back to the car company that he originally bought the piece from. The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. Okay. So he did a play on his last name and then built his entire career off that. That's not the worst because that's how I ran for class. What was it, mayor? I guess <laughs> in uh, fifth grade, my slogan was "Making it rain happiness." Terrible, didn't win. Hey, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. I wonder what he puts on this green screen. Video game, or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird. Guys, <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I 
check out you beautiful viewers. Hopefully you dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, what? What the fuck what? is the card? That card? Uh, if that's... I don't know what he was started saying, though. I'm not even going to try and guess because I'm not a words person, to be honest. <laughs> As I speak into a microphone at you. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game Funa hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa Customer Happiness Department. Interesting. What the fuck? Ah, yeah, that's what I feel like too. Uh. These ones usually glitch and don't show anything. Yeah. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna that record. That is window wide ass open though. Like she knows he's there. Why you seem so aggressive too? Calm down, man. You look sus. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm Ooh. for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? I see flipping now. Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are uh, Luke Carter, right? Luke oh. Carter. You know the Lucky Carter Gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's uh. Oh, I thought I that was her saying his email. his card like name wrong. <laughs> I just noticed because I've seen your videos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching. Listen, uh. You got her foot in the door this? too. Exactly. My boss gave me her address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. And you're finishing someone's door while they're talking to you, hella aggressive. Gotta kick him out immediately. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. This is an interesting game, though, because you have people acting in the game. It makes it feel like I'm playing a horror movie. What? Uh, another error. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter. Looks tired in this one, but I don't know if that's video. just his face. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. I wonder if he actually plays these and, like, knows all the cards like that. Or if he's looking them up right before. Like, that's the shit I would be thinking if I watched him as a YouTuber. He's scared. Yeah, he's out of it. He's gonna go back. He's either gonna go play the game again, or let's see what happens actually. Because whatever, fuck, we'll figure it out in a second. Uh, what do I do to go back? I guess this thing in the corner. Uh, stop. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Rogue bitch ass robot. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Actually, let me see if I can buy anything. I kind of do still like the robot cards. What well, I kind of have to like them because I need them to put anything down. Uh, this meat card definitely. I mean, it's cool. I don't like the name of it. It's the real issue, but it doesn't matter. I think at this point we should be able to face the. What you call it? I mean, we only have two people left to fight now. The bottom half of the map. I guess I'll finish fighting this lady over here, but for now, that's going to be all for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.